But what of the earthquake activity associated with the ridge system? Tuzo Wilson provides the answer to the last part of the puzzle. I remember being told as a student that the St. Andreas Fault had earthquakes along it, and they continued out to sea for some distance, and then stopped abruptly. So there was a problem as to how a fault with large movement, which the Californians had suggested amounted over the many years to many miles of movement in this sort of fashion, could have motion like that which would stop suddenly somewhere out in the Pacific Ocean. And the idea occurred that perhaps something was going on, as you can see in this piece of paper. And you see the spreading is taking place along here, where the material comes up from the surface. And as the material comes up, it allows sliding to take place along this line here. So you're spreading here, sliding here. So the Pacific plate is bounded by the East Pacific rise, which is spreading, by sliding along the St. Andreas Fault, by another little bit of sp spreading off the coast of British Columbia and the state of Washington, by sliding off British Columbia, and then by subduction zones where the Pacific floor goes down under Alaska and Japan. And North America is part of another plate. So this was the origin of the idea of the transformed fault. And the continents are not being carried around as ships that are driving themselves, but are drifting around on the surface of these huge plates as rafts. And the Earth's surface is divided by these active zones where earthquakes and volcanoes occur into a number of separate rigid plates. A little more mopping up with the aid of a computer, and the ancient annals of drift are recreated. Scientist Warren Carey, who first proposed using the edge of the continental shelves, to make the fit more accurate, testified, I have even returned to Wagner's Pangaea. And so had they all by the end of the 60s. But a lot of people aren't happy about it because they weren't brought up with it. It's like asking a middle-aged man to change his religion and they don't really like it. They would be delighted to see something uh, happen that would destroy it all and go back to fixed continents. There is a final irony. The Earth scientists still do not know what the driving mechanism is that propels the plates on which the continents ride. In Wegener's time, he was rejected because the forces he tentatively suggested were insufficient. 